Um, and these, this is all because of our King's Kid Fund and right. the Sugarloaf Ski Club's Board of Directors and our mission. Three years ago, we launched a big fundraising drive with the help of the King and Jean Cummings uh, Charitable Trust and Warren Cook. And uh, we had a challenge uh, to raise a half a million dollars to match the half a million that we got from King and Jean Cummings Fund. And we gave ourselves three years to do it, which is the end of this week. And I'm happy to say that by August, we had done it. Wow. Yeah. Congratulations. So, uh, thanks to the generosity of, of many, many Sugarloafers. Uh, so we're really excited about that. So we, so we have a good base now for this, in this endowment fund. It will give us some longevity and, and some sustainability for the programs because uh, we get to use the interest from the earnings. Um, and we also uh, have other fundraising going on. Uh, as I said, the McKay Waddle Race, the, uh, the IAT uh, Ski Club Golf Tournament, which is the last Friday in June, mm -hmm. which is presented by the Bag and Kettle. Uh, Michelle is going to carry on that tradition. Great. She and Jay will be, you know, sponsoring us once again. And, uh, uh, you know, through a lot of community support, we're able to raise a lot of money and help these kids. We, we also, I can't forget that we get uh, money from the town of Carabasset Valley. The town of Carabasset Valley believes in the kids. They want to help kids. So what they do is, is instead of uh, logistically them having to figure out who gets the money and what, we we get money from Carabasset Valley. We do all the legwork of doing the application process for for fall scholarships and and uh, and give out the money to the kids that need it. And there, that's quite a task. It is. We yeah. have a, a committee. We have a, a scholarship committee. We meet. Uh, we formulate the application process. Then we we meet. And we go over all the applications um, and. Uh, do the best we can. You know, how do, how do people effort. get involved if, if uh, they're watching? or, or? If people uh, want to get involved in the club, just go to our website, sugarloafskiclub.com, and, um, and you can join. Well, we are a, a nonprofit. We're a 501c3 uh, organization, so your membership is it, it gets you a warm and fuzzy feeling and, and knowing that you belong and you're supporting, uh, supporting what we do. Mm -hmm. uh, it, also, it also gets you... Uh, you know the opportunity to socially meet a lot of a lot of great people, um, uh, and uh, if you want to get involved in the competitions that we support too, uh, like this Friday we have the the Bill Bowson race will be starting. We have the Kirsten Clark Greig races going on. We have the Junior Bump League will start pretty soon, um, and so uh, you know you can get involved in that kind of stuff if you want, or you could just just join and support us. Uh, right. And a lot of our information, our, our scholarship program stuff, is on the website. I got a nice donation the other day from someone. No idea who the person was. I, uh, you know, and they just had heard about us. They aren't club members, but they heard what we were doing, so they saw it and said, "Boy, this is a great cause. We're going to help them out." What is the official mission statement of the of the Sugarloaf uh, Ski Club? <laughs> if you put me on the spot to remember this, but it's the official mission is that we believe that all children that live in the Franklin Somerset County. Uh, areas should have the opportunity to not only learn to ski or snowboard, but also uh, excel at the sport if they if they want to continue on. Like Sam Morse was an example, right? Sam is over in Europe today. Today's the Bormio downhill. Mm -hmm. Sam is there. So uh, if you go on to fas-ski.com, you'll be able to see the results. It should be all over by now. But anyway, so we help these kids that excel all along the way. Mm -hmm. uh, Skiing is one of those, and snowboarding, too, is one of these sports that the better you get, the more it costs. And I think all sports are like that now. Right. You know, because it costs, when you do well in your region, you want to go to the other regions, you know, to compete against the, the other groups. So mm -hmm. it costs money for traveling, and no matter what, you, what sport you're in. So we're going to help you all the way. We're not going to abandon you just because you get older and get better. You know? <laughs>